Well, hello there. I've been expecting you. Welcome to IS-101. The IS-101 course at CSN is a unique course experience and has become a model for many other colleges across the country. Perhaps you have heard about the course, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview that will help you get off to a good start. This is a course where you will develop digital skills that immediately benefit you in your academic pursuits. As you progress through the course, you will learn many important things related to operating your PC, using software tools such as word processing, spreadsheets, and presentation software, and how to use the Internet safely, effectively, and perhaps more importantly, as a research tool. There's a lot to learn, but in the end, you'll be glad you put in the effort to develop skills that will have an immediate benefit in your school and work life. Now, I just mentioned that you'll be glad you put in the effort. Effort might be a small word, but it's a big idea. You see, I want to share with you the keys to your success in IS-101, which all begins with your motivation. Many students that take IS-101 are successful. It makes me sad to say, but some students don't succeed. About 30% of students that enroll for this course do not successfully finish. <laughs> Sorry. The top reason students do not succeed is that they do not do the work required. This course requires that you follow the curriculum and manage your time. There is a significant amount of work in IS-101, but nothing unreasonable. If you manage your time, complete all of the work, not just some of the work, you too will succeed. If you are thinking that you don't have to do all of the work, or you can fall behind and cram later, this is not that course. Please perish that thought, or perhaps consider taking this course when your schedule might be more conducive to consistent study. Simply put, you cannot fall behind in this course. There is too much material and the course moves very fast. So hopefully you are ready to accept the challenges and benefits of this course. As part of IS-101, each of you will earn a certificate in digital literacy named IC3. Not only will you come away with excellent digital skills, you will have a certificate to demonstrate your mastery. Potential employers recognize certifications and actively seek applicants with proven digital skills. So you can put this on your resume, which will help to demonstrate you just don't say you possess computer skills, but you have proven it by earning a certification. What do we have to do to earn this certification? To pass IS-101 and earn the certification, you must pass three exams. One is called Computing Fundamentals, which focuses on Windows 10, file management, hardware, managing your system settings using the control panel, just to name a few areas. Another exam is key applications where you will become proficient in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The third exam is Living Online, where you will learn about techniques and strategies for using the Internet efficiently and effectively. You will also learn about email, calendar functions, and a host of other Internet-related tools. So much to learn in so little time. Your instructor will explain to you about the exams and the preparation needed for each of the three exams. Please follow your course schedule diligently and you will join the ranks of students that have earned 
the IC3 certification. So welcome aboard and good luck. See you on campus. I heard that this course is not that hard. You just need to keep up with the assignments. There is a lot of material. Yes, my friend told me don't fall behind. That's why he got himself into trouble with the course. I took this class last semester and had to withdraw because I fell behind. So trust me, you need to follow the schedule. One of my buddies told me he was a computer geek but still learned a lot. His accounting teacher was really impressed with how well he was able to use Excel for his accounting assignments. My girlfriend got a promotion at work after taking this course. They all thought she was some kind of computer genius. Boy, did we laugh. You see most people think they know about computers, but really don't. My friend said when you take IS-101 you will learn so much. I read somewhere that the course uses these worksheets. You fill them out, and they become your study guide for the exams. I have to pay attention when my instructor tells us about them. You all raise some very good points. It sounds to me like we all need to have skin in the game. What? Did I say something wrong?